Good afternoon, guys and girls. Time for another Sunday afternoon chat. I am driving down the highway. We are getting closer to home from New York. That's right, New York. We've been in New York this week fishing, and uh, I am right now just kind of glancing over there about 200 miles from the ranch. The big news about this week, of course, is, well, the fishing's been great, is Chris is home. That's right. Chris got to go home on Friday evening and I'll be there in, uh, well, 200 more miles. I'll be there 200 more miles. Uh, we've, uh, we've had a great trip this week. I'll tell you a little bit about Chris a little later in the video. Also, I'm going to be reading a couple more winners. We're going to give away a couple more Lucky Strike tackle boxes with Lucky Strike lures. I'll talk about those here in just a bit. Lucky Strike lures, Lucky Strike tackle box. We're going to give away one for Facebook and one for YouTube have uh, about a $50 value there, I'd say, maybe 60 or 70, but at least a $50 value of fishing lures. And uh, we've drawn a couple winners, one from Facebook, one from YouTube. Sherry just called us with those winners right now. She's down at the ranch with her mom, and I'll be there a little bit later this evening. We might end up shooting a, a video about her homecoming on Friday, and uh, but I don't, I don't know what we'll do on that. We'll see, we might do something on that. By the way, uh, if you're not subscribed to our Catch of the Day channel, if you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day channel, go over there and subscribe to that right now. Subscription is free, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to YouTube channels. Uh, some of you are watching on Facebook right now, our, our Sunday afternoon chat. You can go over there and subscribe to our Catch of the Day channel and uh, and you'll, you'll enjoy it. If you're not on there, be sure. If you're not subscribed to Jimmy Houston Outdoors, subscribe to that also. Uh, we've had an incredible week. We've had an incredible week. Um, I went to New York up onto the uh, uh, the Mohawk Indian Reservation on the St. Lawrence River, St. Regis River, Raquette River, uh, several of the other rivers and streams that's on that Mohawk Reservation. Now I fished the St. Lawrence River a lot. We uh, fished BASS tournaments over there for many, many years. I don't know when we fished there first, probably the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, I remember Bo Down and winning a Bassmaster Classic that I fished there. Uh, I remember the first time we went up there, we just absolutely caught the snot out of big small mouth and large mouth. And I actually won a BASS tournament up there. I'm kind of thinking, and I'm not sure, I'm kind of thinking it was 1986. 1986 when I won the BASS tournament there. Roland Martin uh, came, met us up there on this trip. Uh, we were fishing with Will Clute, who's a guide up there, a, a Mohawk Indian guide. He's got two or three other guides that guide for him. And it's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, we will, as we post segments on on, uh, on YouTube, we're shooting television shows. We shot several television shows up there. We also have several YouTube segments and Facebook segments we'll be posting over the next week or two up here. And we will post Will Clute's number uh, at C-L-U-T-E, Will Clute. Roland Martin met us up there. We fished with Roland. Uh, my good friends Jeff Shaw from O'Reilly Auto Parts went with us. Uh, Boyd Walker, my retired highway patrol buddy who uh, lives there on Lake Ted Killer. O.T. Fears, professional fisherman, a retired professional fisherman, I might add, uh, went up there with us also. And so we just had a ball. We caught, listen to me, in five days fishing, we caught, we don't know how many, but well over a thousand, well over a thousand smallmouth bass. Many, 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 many three, four, and five pounders. You know, as you, less four pounders than three pounders, less five pounders than four pounders. I caught a smallmouth. I caught a smallmouth uh, day before yesterday, Friday evening, my last evening to fish, fishing by myself. And by the way, we might throw that video up of me fishing by myself. We might throw that up this week. It might be a good one to start with. I don't know. Just check. Man, that might go up like Wednesday or Friday. I, I don't really. Well, we'll go up Friday, but maybe it might go up Wednesday might be next Monday. I, I don't know. But, but anyway, we'll throw that up. I caught a smallmouth. It's the largest one I caught all week. Might have weighed six pounds. Now, I caught a seven pound smallmouth practicing for a BASS tournament uh, on Pickwick one time. Chris and I was fishing together that weighed over seven pounds. Largest smallmouth I've ever caught. But this was a big one. This fish was, might not have weighed six, but he might have weighed like 12, 512, 514 something like that. But anyway, we'll be we'll be throwing some of those up. We're shooting shows for Jimmy Houston Outdoors, which is, of course, on the Discovery Channel uh, every Saturday morning, CBS Sports every Sunday morning, or vice versa. I don't know which is which. Pursuit Channel, uh, the Heartland Network, uh, CBS Sports, the Hunt Channel, uh, 
you know, WFN, World Fishing Network. It's on all kinds of, about a dozen different networks. But, but anyway, we were shooting fishing shows for next year. Those fishing shows will be on 2022. And we caught a, a lot of fish, a lot of fish. Uh, another thing that, uh, another thing that happened this week at the ranch and i haven't seen yet but we had our first baby deer that's right we got a baby deer i probably will let you uh, see that deer uh, and introduce you to that deer a little bit maybe uh, we won't be able to pick it up or touch it or anything because it, it, you know it was born i think day before yesterday so it'd be hard to catch right now it's probably impossible to catch right now we might be able to get to take a look at that deer we might have another deer born between now and our thursday evening video we'll be doing our Thursday evening video, which is watching deer antlers grow. It'll be our third episode of that. And uh, we'll see how those deer antlers have grown from last Thursday until, until, until this coming Thursday, coming up this coming Thursday. But we might be able to get a, get, get a take a look at that baby deer uh, just born. I mean, just born. It's a little doe deer, I understand. And uh, it's been uh, vaccinated and uh, doctored, medicated and tagged. And uh, so hopefully it's doing pretty good running running around out there. We'll be able to see that on uh, on Thursday evening. So that that'll be kind of a kind of a fun deal. Um, we've got another great deal coming up this coming week. Toward the end of the week, we'll have our crawfish boil. I'll have my buddies from uh, Louisiana come up. They always bring me. I get a couple thousand pounds of crawfish to put in our lakes to put in Big Canyon Lake and Twin Eagle Lake. But we always get about five or six crawfish. Uh, sacks of crawfish and have a giant crawfish bowl. Some of you has been on this channel uh, for the last couple of years. You've seen any of those crawfish bowls we had in the past. Those of you hadn't, you do not want to miss the crawfish bowl. We'll be doing a video on that showing you exactly how you do a crawfish bowl by real coon asses. Now that's not a dirty word. I'm not saying a dirty word here on Sunday afternoon. Uh, or any other afternoon. That is, that's what they call themselves and they're very, very proud of it. It's like those of us that are rednecks, real rednecks like me, we're proud of the fact that we're rednecks. Y'all can make fun about rednecks. Y'all can tell jokes about rednecks. We'll laugh right along with you because we're very proud of it. I don't even drink it many times in my life. I've said, hold my beer and watch this. <laughs> I'm about to do something exciting, very fun, stupid and dangerous. When you hear a redneck say that, well, Cajuns, and uh, they call themselves coon asses, the real ones, 14 carats. That's uh, my buddies down there, Ross Cagle and his brother Steve Cagle, my buddy Tim. Uh, they'll be bringing their, their crawfish boiling pots up here and all the seasonings and the tomatoes, the potato, not tomatoes, potatoes and corn on the cob and all that that goes with us. And we just have a blast. We have a lot of friends over for that. It's just a great big giant crawfish bowl party, which is the way you eat crawfish, you party. Even if it's only two of you, you do it by party. And we'll have a good party. We'll have a great time. It's just going to be, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We'll be doing that this week too. We'll be showing you some of the fishing. Uh, my son Jamie, uh, after church today, is uh, is on his way down to the ranch, and so uh, he'll be there this week for a day or two also, and we'll have grandkids coming in, great-grandkids coming in. Everybody is so excited about the fact that Chris is back at the ranch. Now, if, if it's okay with Chris, we're probably going to let you visit with her a little bit and let, let her be on the video. Uh, keep in mind, Chris is still very sick. The prayers of all of y'all and thousands of people from all around the country, all around the world, as a matter of fact, those prayers have, uh, they've made a difference. God is healing Chris, and she's still got a long way to go. Her right leg is still basically not usable. Her right arm hasn't moved hardly at all, but her leg is getting a little more movement, a little bit of feeling in it, a little bit more every time. Not every single day, but a little bit more every time. Her speech is getting a little bit better all the time. She's putting longer sentences together, but she's got a lot of speech therapy to go. She's got a lot of physical therapy, a lot of occupational therapy. All of that is, is a lot of work in front of her. We'll be having uh, the therapist come out to the ranch three or four days a week for the next two or three weeks. Then she's gonna go over and stay at Sherry's house. We're gonna do outpatient surgery back at the Kaiser Rehabilitation Center back in Tulsa at uh, Hillcrest Hospital. So then we're gonna be taking her up there on an outpatient three days a week. So she's got a long way to go. She's not healthy yet. She's not well yet, but uh, she is so happy to be back at home. She can see the deer. Uh, I'm gonna try to get her in a loaded up in a Kawasaki mule or track her out back. 
and uh, take them for rides on the ranch, go up and take a look at the garden. Well, look at the deer and the elk and just and go run around on the ranch and have a good time. I think that'll be as about as good for her mind and her, uh, her her broken brain, I guess you could call it. I don't know if that's, you know, if y'all to be saying that, a broken brain or not, but that's really what happens. And, uh, you know, the aneurysm wasn't really an aneurysm. It was what they call a brain bleed. Very little difference in the results, you know, destroyed about 70% on one side of her brain, but but God's bringing her back. He's bringing her back a little bit at a time. So we, we might might let Chris say hi to y'all this week because uh, she loves you just like I love you, I know. And and y'all love her way more than you do me. I can tell by the great outpouring of, um, of uh, cards and letters and gifts and everything and prayers. Just thousands and hundreds of thousands of prayers. It's just been amazing so but anyway we're looking for a fantastic week this this week at the ranch i've got my schedule just totally clean and waiting for you know just just to you know kind of serve chris this week you know one of the things that you do when you're serving your wife or your husband or your family members or a, a close friend is you're serving god when you do that and uh, one of the things that i'd like for everybody to remember and kind of concentrate on this week you know we kind of try to end these videos. Remember, I've already got these winners coming up. I've got their names down, and I've got them written down over here if I can. Actually, Pat wrote them down. And Pat writes with the wrong hand. He does it right with your right hand like you're supposed to. He writes with his left hand. And so, that being said, it's very difficult for anybody other than Pat <laughs> to read Pat's writing, particularly when he's writing going down the highway, which he was doing. So, I'm going to try to get those winners right. If we don't get them exactly right, we're going to... We'll, we'll do them again or something. But uh, but I'm going to read those winners off, so don't don't leave. So somebody won, you know, uh, two, a Facebook winner and a YouTube winner, uh, won, a, uh, won a, a, a Lucky Strike lure pack, a Lucky, Lucky Strike tackle box with a bunch of lures in it. So that's going to be a great prize to win for this week. And uh, if you happen to be one of the winners and you don't fish, let us know. We'll give you another prize of some other kind, a book or T-shirt or both or whatever. Uh, if you don't want the tackle box prize, we'll give that to somebody else. Lucky Strike gave me like six or eight of these to give away. And we're going to have some more prizes uh, to give away. And I'll tell you at the end of the video how you can, if you're not entered to win these prizes, and we're going to give a prize away the whole year. I would love to get down to where I have prizes to give away every single Sunday afternoon chat. That's what, that's what I'm wanting to do. But uh, we got lots of family coming in this week. It's going to be a great week. Uh, and and uh, our prize winners, and I'll tell you right to read these prize winners. But, but let me tell you something else. I'm just having to pop into my mind. Lots have changed in my life in the last week or so. Or last, actually, it'll be 50 days Tuesday since Chris had her stroke. 50 days. 50 days. Seven weeks tomorrow plus one will be 50 days. And let me just tell you appreciate life more enjoy life more enjoy your family more your kids your grandkids your neighbors the people that you work with make it a point to appreciate every single day this week make it appreciate a point to appreciate everything that god given you to enjoy and you know everybody has more or less than somebody else it doesn't matter what you have if you have breath if you have life if you're breathing, thank God for that. Praise God for that. Uh, if you have a great husband, if you have a great wife, if you have kids, grandkids, brothers, sisters, your mother or father is still living, it's fantastic. You know, Pat and I are riding along here in, the, in a vehicle, and we'd give anything if we had our mom and dad back right now that we could appreciate this week. We don't, but we appreciate the times that we did have them in our life and how important they are in our life. Learn to appreciate the little things that you have in your life also. So many things that we take for granted, like brushing your teeth. A lot of people can't do that. We take for granted, like being able to hold our right arm up. My wife, Chris, can't do that right now. She could do that 50 days ago. She can't do that right now. Learn to appreciate what God's given you. Now, Chris appreciates the fact that she can hold her left hand up. The fact that she can move and walk with her left leg. She appreciates that. She appreciates the words that she's able to say right now. And by golly, I appreciate the words that I'm able to understand that she says right now. So, so many things that we take for granted, you take for granted, and I take for granted, are gifts from God. Appreciate those things. Praise God. Thank God for Him. And I'm going to tell you, even if you're not a Christian, 
even if you don't believe what I believe and so many other people that I run around with believe, God's the one that provided that for you. Even if you're a non porous believer, he provided the things that you're going to enjoy this coming week. So take time to thank him for it. Take time to appreciate him for it. And nothing else, just as you think about this Sunday afternoon chat that we've, our visit this week that we do every Sunday afternoon, as you think about this week, when you brush your teeth, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be able to do that. As you have your lunch and you sit down and eat a 99, I can't get a 99 cent burger anymore, but you get one of those Mickey D burgers or Burger King burgers, that's their whatever's on their dollar menu that costs $2. Thank God that you could pick that thing up and unwrap it and eat it. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. And those of you that get to fish this week, thank God that you get to fish this week because there's just a lot of people that can't do the things that most of us do every single day. And one breath, one heartbeat can change it all, can change it all. So appreciate the little things, appreciate the big things, appreciate the little blessings, the big blessings, the little favors, the big favors, and enjoy life every single day. Enjoy life every single day. Okay, here's our winners. We're gonna have a winner from, uh, the winner's gonna be Sid. Sid who, Pat? Sid Lewis. Sid Lewis. Sid, Sid Lewis Jr. And Sid Lewis Jr. is from Madison, Mississippi. That's our YouTube winner. And I'm not going to read them out there. I know we got some American Original Deep Smoothies. We got some Lucky Strike Stick Baits. I know we've got some. Uh, I know we've got some a pair of uh, needle nose in there. I know we have a Jimmy Houston Legend Spinner Bait. And about, looks like about a half a dozen lures. Even got a little crappie magic in there. So this is about a 50 to $75 little tackle box. And uh, Sid Lewis and YouTube, you're gonna win one of these from Madison, Mississippi. Contact us with your total mailing address. And we'll send this out to you. Uh, we know uh, your name, we know your city and state, but we've not asked for addresses. Uh, also from, uh, that's gonna be a, that is a YouTube winner, I think. Right. Uh, from Facebook, we've got Marcia Brazil, and Marcia Brazil is from Prim Pembroke Springs, Florida. If I remember right, that's what Sherry said. Pembroke Springs, Florida. Again, if you'll contact us, you can contact us again by uh, messages or calling us on that uh, uh, pecan phone number. That pecan phone number is area code 580-618-7260. Five eight zero six one eight seven two six zero. And by the way, boys and girls, guys and gals, that is exactly how you enter our contest for 2021. And we'll put a coupon number on and put your coupon in our golden hopper. We have a golden hopper. And don't call us on that number because we won't answer it. <laughs> we only answer it during pecan season. That's how you order pecans here from Jimmy Houston. Uh, Twin Eagle Ranch pecans. That's how you order them. We don't take those orders till October. And my Google is uh, my girl on my uh, my uh, navigation system there is trying to tell me to turn right here for Tulsa, and I am turning right here for Tulsa. But uh, that's how you enter: is you 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 text us your name, city, and state, your address if you want to give it to us, and we don't necessarily need it, but your address if you want to give it to us, your name, city, and state and your email address if you have one, and that will enter you in the contest for all of 2021. We hope to give away prizes, at least two prizes, almost every single Sunday throughout the rest of this year. This is only May, so that's a lot of prizes that you have a chance to win. So, guys and girls, it's been a great Sunday, a great week. It's gonna be a great week this coming week. I've kind of dedicated this coming week to spend every day trying to learn how to take care of my beautiful wife, Chris. Thank you so, so very much for all your prayers. Thank you for praising God, for delivering and healing like he's doing. And he's just right in the middle of this healing process. There's a lot of it still yet to happen. And God is gonna be there every step of the way, making Chris better to come back to as full of the recovery as God has planned for. And I think it's gonna be a full one. I think she's gonna be walking in the not too distant future. I think she's gonna start using that arm and have complete use of it. I know her mind is still as sharp as a tack. I know that her mind and her mouth will get connected back together and she'll be able to talk and, and, and I'll be able to understand her. She can talk in Cherokee sometime and I can't understand all the Cherokee that she speaks. But then when she starts talking to me in Cherokee, 
I start answering her back in Spanish, so she can't understand that. So anyway, we get by pretty good. We start talking English eventually. But, uh, but all that's going to happen. All that's going to happen. So guys and girls, go out there and have you a great week today. Remember, appreciate everything that you have in your life that's a blessing, big and small. And remember, I sure do love you.